sneak in a fight with y'all man and stuff? Yeah. Like, do you wait for him to say I'm sorry or do you always say I'm sorry? I feel like I'm always the one that says sorry first because I just want peace. I just right. want, I just want yeah. harmony and I just want to like get it get it over with so we can go back to our normal lives. Yeah. Right. I feel like I'm the sorriest woman on the planet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to you. I'm sorry to her. I'm sorry for starting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, are you sorry, sorry even if you don't feel sorry? Yes. Yeah. Oh. I do that too. That's because you don't want any drama. No, I don't. And you know what? I don't want anything lingering on because, you know, I feel like it yeah. starts to fester and it grows. Do you, do you guys ever feel bad for feeling sorry, though? Uh. Like, I wish that I could stay in the I'm mad phase. You know what I mean? Just so I can wait for my I'm sorry. Because yeah. I'm always giving it up. You know I what I mean? I tried that. And it just doesn't it work. It doesn't work. I feel bad feeling bad. Right. Right? No. But, but I only, <laughs> no. I, I can do that. I can actually stay mad enough till he says sorry. But then if you need to do something. You can stay mad enough? Yeah. Well, how do you do that? You just, you just. <laughs> Let me tell you that what I work. do. Ooh, like you just make me say I'm sorry. It okay. does. It works. The cold shoulder. You guys don't have a cold shoulder on one side. My husband just let me keep yeah, going until I get sick yeah. and tired of being sick and tired of myself. I used to try that. <laughs> I would not say I'm sorry. And it'd be like, when I was living with uh, Ralph. Hey, Ralph. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it'll be two, three weeks before we spoke. What? what? You know, okay. I'm so sorry. I said for him. Because at 12 o'clock, we're we not going to bed mad at each other. That's not going to happen. I love that. And I pick up the intercom and be like, all right, Vince, I know you're sorry. Come upstairs. It's time to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Wait, you really, you really are like that. <laughs> See, that's the difference when you're married. It's yeah. so many sacrifices that you make, and you're good wives for her because marriage. of that. I feel and like I'm still growing to learn that. No, yeah. see, I, I still hold on to it. If it's something that I really need to talk about with him, mm -hmm. and, and he's not understanding where I'm coming from, and I'm, I might not be understanding him, I, can't, I just go to sleep because then my rest kicks in, and in the morning, everything is it's not clear. that big of a deal. That everything is true. for me is never sleep that big of a deal. Sleep cures everything. When you go to sleep and you wake up, you look at it and you're like, were we really arguing about that? Right. And immediately when we wake up, we always make up immediately. Yeah, yeah so that's what you do. So like, yeah, I feel like, well, I feel sleep cures everything. If you're hungry, go to sleep. <laughs> you right. gotta pee, go, go to, to sleep. sleep. <laughs> if you mad about something, go to sleep. If I believe sleep cures a lot of things. I'm and just I think saying. sex cures a lot of things. It does. It does. It does. Yeah. Okay, well, let me ask you a question. You ever let, let, let the argument ride for a second, and then you walk in the room, like you let 15 minutes go by, then you come and in. You start and another thing. Let me tell you what I was thinking about. Yes. <laughs> That's me. I'm famous for it. Lenny <laughs> wants to sleep on the couch. That couch ain't that big. Now we're going to sleep both yeah, on the couch. We got the marinade on this argument. Like this. I don't care. I will I get right question. there. I have a question for all the ladies at the table. Okay. Uh, has there ever been a time and you know that you were wrong about something? You know you were dead wrong. You was out. You were out the pocket, but you didn't apologize. You didn't admit that you were wrong. You stuck with it. Come I'm on. Sure. Let's be truthful. This I'm is sure. Real. I'm positive that I have several of those. I, I just got to think about which one I'd like to share. I... I know, I, I have one that happened last week. What happened? I, I still up. haven't said sorry. And I'm not ready to, so don't make me. I'm not. Okay, okay last week, but go ahead. I'm going to pray for but you. Go. Basically, um, I'm from the Bay. I like my car to look a little bit as gangster as it can be for me. I'm not gangster at all, but it makes me feel good. Ah, okay. So Wait. I black out my windows oh, illegally, dark limo black all the way around. I like okay. it. I'm, not, I'm okay with, with, with the way it looks. And my husband, who's super safe, said, no, don't do it. I don't want you to do it. And so I got pulled over last week, and I got a ticket for it. And I was so mad that he was wrong that he came at me like, I told you. Now what are you going to do? You're going to unstrip it. When do you have time to do that? I'm going to have to go drop. Where do I, where? And I got so mad. I was like, don't come at me right now. I'm pissed about this. Don't you think I know this already? And well, now you're knowing he was don't right. drive my car. He was right. Yes. He was right. See, you, you're wrong. You're so into okay. it. You yeah, said he, he, he was, was wrong. wrong. You still ain't <laughs> He ain't wrong. He was right. But <laughs> Jeannie, in this situation, as your friend, mm -hmm. I think it'll be very liberating if you literally, why do you want to hold all that energy? Why not just say, ticket, Freddie, yo. I know you were right. I'm sorry. And would you pay for the ticket, all right? <laughs>